Boy, do I have got a story for you guys. All right, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. And yes, I do have a story to tell. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to do a video on it, but I kind of thought it would be funny to tell you guys. And of course, I always enjoy sharing my experience, my trials, my tribulations, my victories, my losses, you know, everything in between. So today's story takes us to AliExpress. So a couple weeks back, I was looking for some figures. Now, the only reason I'm even bother looking for these figures is because you guys know I'm in the process of redoing my room right now at the moment. So as I'm redoing my room and putting things on display and I'm like, crap, I need that. I should try to find that. It goes with it. I need it. It'll look good in the display case, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so I went on eBay and I looked and Macari to see, you know, if I could find any NECA Rambo figures. So I looked, um, you know, the prices on some of them were really high. You know, a lot of people had them for over a hundred dollars. And again, got to guys got to keep in mind, these figures are over 10 plus years old. So of course, just like anything, something that old, something that hard to find, it's going to be up there in price. So one day I was scrolling through Facebook and I noticed an ad for AliExpress. So I clicked on the link. I went on there and I searched NECA Rambo. Well, lo and behold, what comes up? The Rambo figures. So I'm like, holy crap, they've got them for a range between like 15 to $25. And I'm like looking at the pictures and I'm like, you know, they don't look half bad. So with that being said, I stop my search for a minute and I reach out to my friend, Big Dub. And now the only reason I've reached out to Dubby is because um, I know for a fact that he's actually purchased stuff from AliExpress in the past. So one, I wanted to make sure that it was safe to purchase and, you know, everything was going to be legit and I wasn't going to get scammed or anything. And then the other thing was to, hey man, take a look at this. What do you think? What are the chances are of these being knockoffs? Well, after a little back and forth of talking with Brian, um, he told me that it's a 50-50 crapshoot. And the reason that is, is because the factories are over there and sometimes what they do is that they, um, they keep the molds and then people use them for the knockoffs. And then the other 50 is, you know what, these might be some like leftover ones from the original run that there might be any kind of like defects or anything and they're just selling just to get rid of them. So at that point, I'm like, all right, you know what? For educational purposes, I'll buy them. So I went ahead, I bought them, I paid like 60 bucks with the shipping included, and they actually got here a lot faster than I thought I would coming from overseas and having to make its way to the US and having to go through customs and all that other stuff. So they got here fairly quickly. They got here probably within a week, which I was shocked because again, Dubby was like, hey, it's probably gonna be about a month before you see them. So without the, with the moment of truth, I got them, they came in, I looked at them, and at first I was a little skeptical. I couldn't tell whether they were knockoffs or not. And then I did a little bit of a deep dive. I found some original photos. I found some original reviews. Well, long story short, they're knockoffs. But for your viewing entertainment, I did want to take them and I did want to show them to you. So I will be cutting these out of the clamshell and putting them on my display. I guess you can say technically they'll be placeholders until I can find the real ones. But again, for $60, it wasn't that bad. So without further ado, let me let me show you and you guys will get a good laugh out of this. So here it is right here in the box. We can get a really good zoom in on that sculpt and that five o'clock shadow just looks absolutely horrendous. Um, and then Again, there's a lot of things with this that are kind of off for argument's sake. Like the paint on the shirt is off. You could tell the bullets just looked very mushed together. Now the gun on the other hand looks good and the knife looks pretty good. But what separates this one 
from the original one with the knife is that this handle was more of like a lighter green and this one looks more like it's black but and again you can tell that portrait just looks way off and yeah so but as far as like paint scheme goes and everything like the blood on the arm is there like everything matches to the original except you know again a few flaws as far as like the face and the color of the blood and maybe the color of the pants and the shirt so that's just that one this one right here in my opinion actually kind of looks the best out of all three of them so we got this one right here and again everything kind of lines up with the way the molds are supposed to be now also what makes me feel that knows that these are knockoff is that these are not the original clamshell and you can also see the carding at the top is cut very poorly so you can see that right there and then again you know the portrait's a little off like he's got like a lazy eye kind of like one is straight and then the other one is shifting to the right a little bit but it still looks pretty good for the price and again i'm not gonna complain too much about it and then we got the third one now this is the worst one out of all of them because this portrait is like oh my god <laughs> it is freaking horrible horrible and you know and again like the 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 dumb the what is it the uh, the sack that he has on him isn't so bad he's got the m16 he's got the knife and he's got the spear with the knife he's got the gun the radio and again the blood is not as red as it was on the original so again that's why you can tell and again look at the cut the uneven cut on the carding and again the clamshell is not even right to be honest with you so and also, I apologize for the mess on my desk because I'm in the middle of doing 50 million things right now. But I did want to shoot this. And again, I think this is just absolutely hilarious. And I mean, you can get a good look at the blood. I mean, that's not even red. It looks like it's brown, to be honest with you. But yeah, that portrait is probably the worst out of the three, I think. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you these guys. And again, you could tell that this thing, these are printed because again... You could just look at the back and again like the uneven cuts and you can tell it's printed like look how thin that is that's not even the real cardboard insert that they would use for these so yeah so we got again these three right here and uh, yeah i don't know what more else i could say so yeah guys so i'm gonna oh, definitely open these up i'm gonna put these on the display but for 60 bucks, it was definitely a fun experiment. It was something different to try. Um, you know, they also do sell like a lot of other NECA stuff on there. Like they have the Turtles, they have some Terminator stuff. So you never know what you might find. And again, it's a cheaper alternative to actually purchasing the real thing. And again, it also depends on how, you know, I guess, I don't even know what the right word to say is. I guess it depends on how, how you know, how perfect you want your collection to be. If you want the originals, you know you're going to get the originals. If you if you can only afford the knockoffs, get the knockoffs. I mean, again, and, and I can reach out to people that I know. I can reach out to customizers and, and other people and have them, you know, fix the portraits for me, you know, to make them look a lot better. But you know what? It's, it's okay. I'm okay with it. I've made peace with it. Again, for $60... It wasn't a bad test, but just to let you guys know, I wanted to pass this information along to you. If you're a Rambo collector like me and you're a Stallone guy, you know, this is definitely an alternative to finding the actual real thing. And again, it's not overall terrible. They're just placeholders for right now. So I appreciate Big Dub and all the information that he provided for me. Um... I might use it again in the past, depending if I miss out on something. And again, go check them. Go check out AliExpress. They do have knockoffs on there. But again, if you can't afford the real deals or you missed out on the originals, this is definitely an alternative if you're okay with it for something that you want to add to your collection that you missed out on. And that 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 that's basically what the point of this video was. And just to, you know, to, you know, to say it's okay. It's okay to have knockoffs. It's not a crime. You know, and again, you're the collector. You're the one that has to live with it. So again, thanks to Big Dub for helping me out with this and answering my questions as always, because again, I always just want to make sure of things before I, I dive in. You know, I want to just, I want to 
be methodical about my process and the things that I do. So I guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I had a lot of fun telling the story. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. And yeah, so guys, as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.